All right, guys, so this video is about how to reset the admin CLI password for Firepower Management Center. Now, this is a little different from the other password reset uh, for the web admin GUI, and that is because instead of just CLI access, you now need the specialized console access, and that is because you need to interrupt the boot process to change the boot so that you can then reset the administrator CLI password. So we're gonna get right to it. See you guys in a few. Okay guys, the requirements for this video, uh, resetting the admin CLI credentials for Firepower Management Center, FMC, it's actually pretty easy, uh, but we need a specialized version of command line access called console. And that's because command line access is only available once SSH has started as part of the normal OS uh, boot process. In this case, we have to stop the boot process of the OS and fork it into a specialized mode that allows us to change the admin password at the shell. So. Uh, the requirements for this video simply are console access. Now, whether that's through a web remote console via ESXi or through a direct terminal router plugging into uh, the console port or literally back to back from a laptop to console, any console access works, but it has to be console, not just CLI. After that, you just need your Firepower Management Center and some sort of computer with web access to either SSH into your terminal router or go into the vSphere ESXi interface or whatever other uh, tool you're using. So that's it. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we're going to get started uh, much as we normally do. I'm going to go ahead and get to my Firepower Management Center. Now, it depends on which version you're running, if you're running an AWS or VMware ZXXi or an appliance, but the basic gist is you need console access, not just CLI, you need console because you're gonna have to reboot the appliance, whether it's virtual or not, and interrupt the boot process to change it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to mine. And I'm also going to load up the hypervisor because that is how I'm going to get my console access. Now, I also have a terminal router with console access. You can do it through either. But when you have access to the hypervisor, that just turns out to be a much simpler, faster, easier way to get access. So I'm going to log in here. And remember, admin access to the web GUI is different from admin access to the CLI. Now, this means in some cases you may still have access to the web GUI. In this case, I'm going to log in with my normal user name and password, and I am allowed in. I'm also booting up into my VMware ESXi interface so that I can access the console. So this is as if I've plugged a serial cable right into the console port, and I'm looking at the CLI of the device. Now, at this point, you would not have access uh, or be logged in like I am right now. So let me type exit here, exit again. I am now fully logged out and I cannot quote unquote log in. So the first thing you need to do is shut down the appliance, right? And many of you may be most commonly in the process where you've forgotten your admin login to the web GUI as well as the admin login to the CLI. If you have not, then you can gracefully shut down the firepower through the GUI going to system, configuration, process, and then process, 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 process. Where is it? Process, process, process. Um, where did we go? Here it is. And then clicking the shutdown appliance. Now, if you don't have these, the other option is in many of the hypervisors, in this case VMware, FMC is running VMware tools. So even without admin access, at the CLI or the web GUI, you can still shut down the guest OS, and that is what I'm going to do. So here we go, we're gonna start the shutdown via vSphere. So we'll give that a few minutes to shut down, I'll pan away and come back when it's time to move on. Okay guys, so the machine is powered off, and at this point you have to go through a rather fast process if you're going through ESXi trying to get to console. And that is because you only have three seconds to start the machine, click onto the console, and then click into the command line, and then type a character to stop the boot process. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. This is a harder way. If you actually have a terminal router with CLI access, you're in good shape. You'll see the whole thing, you'll catch it just fine. But here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and click power on. And as soon as this box is clickable, we're gonna click into it. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. I'm gonna click into here and hit six. There you go. So I caught it, but I literally only had half a second left. 
At this point, I can take my time, type .5.0, which is the version that you're currently running. So when you do this, you want to type the version of the one you're running. If you happen to have multiple, you should not. But the idea is type the version of the one you're, you want and then type single and hit enter. Now this won't look any different at all to you, except for once it finishes loading, you'll drop into an admin bash shell. That's it. So give it a second here, it'll finish booting up, and then I'll show you how to actually change the password. Okay, so here we are at the bash prompt, and at this point, it is as simple as just typing P-A-S-S-W-D admin. And this tells it that, hey, I'm at a privilege level here. I want to change the admin password. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and change the password. Now, disregard any warnings you get. I understand I am typing a bad password, but that is not the point of this video. The point is you can reset the password. So even though it warns you, it still does implement the password. If you notice here, it says bad password based on a dictionary word, and then it says the password was actually updated successfully. So now we just reload, reboot. <coughs> and as soon as it shuts down and comes back up, we'll be at the normal boot uh, window, and we will be able to use our new admin CLI. So I'm going to wait for it to come back up, and uh, I'll show you guys the new password working. At this point, just hit enter instead of interrupting and typing anything, and we'll go through the normal boot process. All right, here we go, fellas. Now, even though the web GUI itself may not be accessible, you still have access to the CLI while that is booting up. I'm typing the new password I just changed it to, and success. Now, it tells you it is starting up, but the point is we have successfully changed the admin password. Hope that helps you guys. We'll see you next time.